Let me show you a few ways I use adjustment clips in my projects. Number one, and this is probably the most common use for adjustment clips, is adding an overall look to your project. So instead of applying effects or adjustments individually to each clip, we can add an adjustment clip over our entire project and apply the effect to that clip to add it to our entire project. Press Shift Z to fit your entire project in the timeline window, or to switch to the range selection tool, and click and drag out a range in your timeline to select the entire project. Press Option A to add an adjustment clip covering the range you selected. You don't need to do it this way, but I find this easier than just adding an adjustment clip and ripple trimming it out to cover the entire project. Next, go to your effects browser and select an effect you want to add to your project. I'm going to add the custom light effect to mine and add a creative light. Because my adjustment clip covers my entire project, the light I selected is applied to every clip in my timeline. This can also be used for built-in effects. I can go to my inspector window and apply a crop to the top and bottom of my adjustment clip to add a letterbox effect to my timeline. And since I'm cropping the adjustment clip and not the actual clips in my timeline, if I need to, I can adjust the position of my individual clips to make sure nothing important is cut out. This alone makes adjustment clips an essential tool, but there's so much more you can do with them.